I need to do something that I can do more. Hmm. Like, I'm just working as a normal person. Okay. I thought I am more myself. Get it. Then what are you interested to do? Oh, you you don't know, but you just want to do. Uh, yeah. Do you sit down and think for an hour like him? Yeah, just overthink. <laughs> oh, you you overthink. You take it next level. Yeah. But everybody has some interest, right? Like, you have any form of interest. Sometimes you have some interest which you think impossible, so you would not consider it. For example, there was a girl in Delhi seminar who wants to do painting, and uh, she was uh, again having a job. And she wants to make painting, but what was the kind of painting she 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 what kind of painting she makes? She makes nature. Nature, but she, demand is of portrait or something. Yeah, a little trendy things. Yeah, or, or, or abstract painting. So she she is like okay, but there's so much demand for uh, abstract painting. So now I need to stop making making nature painting, and start making abstract painting. Let us say. But that's again a wrong way of looking at it. Are there no people making money out of making nature painting? No, that's wrong. Right? There are people making all the weird sort of painting. Their weirdest paintings are sold somewhere or the other. But you just consider that it is impossible to make money or a career making nature paintings, right? So a lot of times we just neglect that. So there's always something that you want to do. But the thing is that whether you consider it to be possible to pursue that, or at least find a way to pursue that. And this is not just for you. I know this is a very common question. How many of you guys want to do something extra, want to grow in your life, but don't know what to do? Raise your hands. I know this because this question came to me in Delhi seminar as well. It comes to me anytime I do live sessions as well. For you, you will have to think about what you truly want to do. For example, the craziest thing, maybe you want to play a mu musical instrument. Maybe you have never touched a musical instrument, but you think that you want to do that. Now think about what is the next step. Next step would be to save money to buy an instrument. Right now, what is the step that you can do right now, right after the seminar ends? Open up a YouTube video, start watching it, go towards that. Anything that you want to do, you can do. Or like uh, give me something crazy that you want to do. Something that you want to do but you don't think that there's a career in it. Tell me. Like travel blog. Huh? Travel blog. Oh, you want to be... Data science engineer right now. So let us say that I'm working in Indian Space Research Organization right now and I want to become a travel logger. The weirdest combination, right? I'm a scientist and I want to become a travel logger. Now, how do I do that? Well, my job does have holidays, right? Even though it is very less, even though they are overtime, even though it takes a lot of time and energy of my life, there are some places where I sit down and uh, watch Netflix or I invest time in just uh, doing nothing, basically productive. And those time need to be invested. Now, relate to what I used to do, even though I was not a travel blogger, I was traveling, doing seminars all across the country at that time. So I will use what I have to do what I can. And I will use at that time, what do I have? I have weekends where I have time and I have some money, that is my monthly salary. So I'll invest that into flight tickets and then I'll travel. And what else do I need? Camera. This camera was bought in September 2019. When was my first video uploaded? June 2018. I reached 36,000 subscribers without a camera. So you don't need money. You need to think differently. And a lot of times you have money. You don't want to invest it because you think that if this is gone, then what am I going to do? And you are not going to get anything out if you're not investing. This seminar, do you think it is costly? Of course it is. I'm having flight tickets all across the country. I'm staying in hotels. And uh, do you think that any of that is covered with the tickets that you bought? <laughs> Not even close. So count the number of people and you know how much you have paid. And I'll tell you the number I have spent just to be over here. And the number is going to be like at least five times more the amount that I spent. So the thing is that people think about things very pragmatically a lot of times. 
like this is my saving this is the house i want to get those all are things in the future what future are you living if you're not doing what you want to do right now or what are you going to do with all that money and saving if you have reached that point with not a career you like so it's always a give it sorry same happens with me what happens i am earning a decent amount right now okay but the thing is i am i am also in a growing field only i am working as a data science engineer okay but my interest is not in that domain okay Then but your interest I is uh, in traveling just for money hmm but i just wanted to nothing wrong in that right who doesn't like money but uh, money is very temporary and no matter how much money you are going to earn it's always going to be less anybody who thinks that they earn sufficiently over him no it's not going to be sufficient at all money is just a tool what are you going to do with that tool that's the question the best you can do is that use that tool have a plan to make more money so that that's a more tool that you have and you can do more things but invest you always have time there are two resources in total time and money you have both of them if none of them are going in growth then the growth is zero like zero time goes in growth zero money goes in growth the growth is zero anybody needs any mathematics for that calculation no right it's fairly simple and the most things that you're confused in are simple but you'd like to not look at it because all the simple things are very difficult to actually do it's difficult to not go to a restaurant it's difficult to not live comfortably it's difficult to li- live in a cheap home pay less rent it's all difficult it's not comfortable but you don't get anywhere comfortably you have to suffer right and those are the decisions you take yeah come yeah i have to add something to it because it's just latest instance where i noticed that ashish values scale over money because his book just released right on 15 So I asked him before a day or two that how do you book do it? He said I don't know. I just wanted to write a book. I don't know how many copies are sold by till this time. So he just values. He just wanted to write some stuff. He just wanted to uh, show his art. That's it. He's not caring about money or how many copies are sold. Because think, yeah. I'm more interested in having that for the rest of my life. you understand so i have rest of my life to promote this i know that this book is going to be sold no matter what happens before or after my death does not matter that book is written in a manner that has never been done before and could not have been done if i did not do and the vlogs that you are going to make would not be done if you don't do it and it's going to reach the crowd that it is going to reach over time but if you're chasing money if you're chasing comfort then do that but both both don't go hand in hand understood and sooner or later it's going to become much more difficult when you have a family when you have more people to take care of family problems is family i am from bihar okay you know the mindset you can relate yeah tamil nadu is not much different actually people <laughs> think that other parts are different all the places are the same they just say that save money save money means yeah my ending is well and good so they just then again say that save money save money So, so you listen to them very well. <laughs> you obey. I, I get confused whether to invest money in my interest or just listen to them and say. That's all well and good, but I do not know if you know this or not. But there will be a time when you are living in this world and your parents are gone. Anybody of you know this? Or uh, it's like a eye opener. It is reality, and at that point. would you like to blame yourself or your parents so let us say you make a decision you did something and you regret it a lot at the age of 60 at least you won't be blaming your parents who are long gone so make those decisions and you'll find a way the thing is that you walk with that mindset and you'll always find a way like i said in the beginning of the seminar i left us were thinking that i will be doing this all across the country and the whole country including the world shuts down for 2 years and no seminar goes anywhere am i still alive yeah am i still doing well fine doing better yeah you check my last se- chennai seminar and this chennai seminar it will be an improvement both in me and the uh, guests that the, the other and the quality of uh, content that it is going to produce so it's like 
what do you do? And this uh, saying of Bruce Lee that be water, right? So you always bend across the hurdle. Hurdles are going to be over there. You're living a very conventional life right now. You're having a job. You're doing what your parents are telling you to do. Don't you have problems? Don't you have hurdles? Every now and then you face problems that you have to solve, right? Similarly, if you take unconventional path, you'll be having problems. You'll be having hurdles. But just like you have learned to deal with your hurdles in a conventional path, you learn to deal with your hurdles in a non-conventional path. The only thing is that you'll have to throw yourself in that non-conventional path. Only then you will be forced to think how you're going to find a way out. And I think that all of this was done in my life because of the whole story that I've written over there. Because I pushed myself to an uncomfortable situation. I forced myself to take a risk and uh, to throw comfort out of the window because of which I was forced to think and I think that's a very twisted upward spiral because now uh, you are confident that you will be able to deal with unpredictable situations and that's a very valuable skill to have a lot of you guys would be planning like okay how am I going to live for the next three four months but ultimately what is going to happen to you it cannot be expected, right? Anybody of you heard me saying expect the unexpected? Heard it before? Expect the unexpected, right? You cannot, the best way of predicting future is being um, completely blank. Don't be thinking that this is how it is going to go. And these are like the tiny things that I learned from competitive examination. Yesterday only I was talking to a guy on telephonic consultancy. The, he was asking, oh, the ISRO paper, there's an ISRO examination that is going to happen soon, right? The notification is out. He was asking, oh, will it be easy or difficult or moderate? Like, you don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows. Anybody who is saying that they know what kind of paper there will be, they're lying. They don't know. And even if they say, oh, last year it was easy, so this year it will be easy, nobody knows. So the best way to predict future is to be prepared for all and, and be ready for all. Anything can happen. If you already know what is going to happen, then where's the fun? Then you'll be only doing a certain thing. If you know that you'll be failing in blogging, then why would you be doing that? If you know that you will be succeeding, then why would you be not quitting your job? You already know that, right? But then again, the thing is that you have to think about it in a logical manner. Don't be reliant on your parents, obviously. If your parents need you, then you have to find out ways to continue on supporting them along with pursuing your passion. The thing is that you'll have to think... See, people have gone so crazy and have done so many impossible things. People are planning to land on Mars. Obviously, that would seem impossible to you. I'll say that, okay, Narendra, make a rocket that will be landing on Mars, right? So you'll say, oh, how am I going to do it? It's impossible for me. But there are people who are doing it, right? How are they doing? They found a way. They found ways. They found other people who would be finding ways. And they made a method of how am I going to do it. Right now, ISRO is trying to land on moon as well. So that's how we tackle everything. But every solution goes out of the window the moment you just give up. Like, there's no solution.